everyone and welcome back to a new video. My name is Zayanira Cavazos and I am an LPC associate here in the state of Texas. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a little bit of a timeline and sharing with you how I became an LPC associate in three months. I'll be sharing all kinds of tips and a timeline with you so you can get an idea of how long certain aspects of it took. So stay tuned. Let's go ahead and get started with this video. So let's start things off first in December 2020. Around this time, I was getting ready to graduate and something that I prioritized was emailing my potential supervisor, which was one of my professors, just to check in, let them know to consider me as a potential supervisee that I was interested. So I started talking with my potential supervisor around that time and then I graduated at the end of December 2020. I then placed an order for my transcript on the first day that they were made available for us to be able to do that. And I made sure at the end when I ordered the transcript to put that I wanted it to be held until the grades for the fall semester were in. Now the cost for hard copies at my university is $15 and then the electronic copy was $5. Up until this point, I still haven't made use of the physical copy because I've been able to turn things online. So I do have two physical copies that I ordered, but those are still here. Now moving along, I gave myself a couple of days to just rest and regroup. And then in January, I created a study schedule for myself and started studying from January through February for about a month and a half for my NCE. Now during this time when I was studying on January 7th, I ended up signing Signing up for my jurisprudence exam to just get it out of the way which is something that I highly recommend it is a no fail exam you're able to read through it as you're going along and it's based on ethics a lot of the things that we've already learned in grad school so it's just really easy to just get that out of the way and that's one thing less that you have to get done especially because other things are going to be in the works and you're going to be in a little waiting period time so it's good to get those little things out of the way and the jurisprudence exam ended up costing me $39. Now on January 29th, I was finally authorized to register for the NCE and that was such a relief. I remember exactly how I felt at that moment. After a couple of days, I was finally able to register for the NCE and I signed up to take it February 10th and there were different locations for me to choose from, I could have taken it at my university, but I would have had to wait two extra months. And there were actually testing dates sooner than February 10th, so I could have done it earlier, but I knew that I needed those extra two weeks, those extra couple of days to just study and finalize a couple of things that I wanted to do. So I personally did make use of those extra weeks and they were really crucial and helpful. And the cost to register for the NCE was $275. Now on February 29th, I had my first official meeting with my potential supervisor and we went through the interview process. I asked her questions, she asked me questions to see where I was along the process and all of that and I had met with her prior to this just to let her know where I was at as well but this was our first official zoom meeting to really settle things and get forms signed and send the practicum forms to the director of my program and all of that good stuff so I was knee deep in forms around that time now finally once I readied all of the forms that I needed to get I prepped everything I emailed a bunch of people to find out exactly what I needed needed to submit on my online application. And then finally on March 1st, I submitted my licensure application. The amount of relief that I felt was so, so real. Now, after I submitted my application, I was sent an email with information on fingerprints and I kind of missed it for a couple of days because it was in very fine print and I just didn't really see it. So a couple days later, I saw that the fingerprinting information was on there for me to make the appointment. So I made the appointment a couple of days later and then finally March 8th I got my fingerprints done I scheduled it online and on that same day I got an email from a licensed specialist like I talked about in my last video and they let me know what deficiencies I had in my application which was only my official NCE scores and the fingerprints. I emailed her the receipt of my fingerprints and then also the unofficial scores of my NCE and those were the last two things that I needed to give her and she went ahead and took things from there and if I didn't say it already the cost of my fingerprints was $39.50. Five cents. Then finally, on March 19th, I found out that the Texas State Board officially issued me my LPCA license, and that was such 
a relief. Oh my goodness, there were still things that I had to get done, but I definitely basked in that moment. It was finally done. So all I really want to tell you at the end of this timeline is to give yourself grace and patience as you go through this process because it can be very frustrating and confusing at times but hopefully these videos that I'm creating help you feel a little bit less alone seen heard and also give you the tools you need to continue on your licensing journey if that's what you want to do because I've said it before it's one thing to choose to wait or to rest or to work to take a break from getting your license but it's another thing when you really want to do it and you feel like you're left out and you don't know what to do and that's not okay it's not okay to not have access to the information that we need to get this done so i hope you found this really helpful thank you so much for watching this video everybody and if you've missed any of my previous videos be sure to check out the playlist section on my channel because there's a dedicated playlist for counselors in training Thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions leave them down below. Be sure to click that subscribe button and join the keep on growing community. Take care and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone!